good afternoon and welcome. Thank you for coming to this, what I think is one of the most important panels here at SBJ RTDNA this year. It's called Every Mind Matters, and it matters how we report. Suicide has become an epidemic, and Brian has worked so hard to change that. Thank you, Wayne, and I wanted to uh, if, ask you to bear with this for the next six minutes. Uh, the uh, the notion of bringing suicide into this conversation actually started two years ago, and it was because of Gordon Smith as the president and CEO of National Association of Broadcasters, Wayne, a group of uh, a group of us that met two years ago, two years ago in August, uh, and then approached Mike Cavender uh, from RTDNA to say this needs to be an inter integral part of this story. Uh, the uh, mission of my organization is to bring the power and influence of the entertainment industry to bear on health and social issues. The team that has been working to address mental health actually emanates from the Action Alliance, the National Action Alliance for Suicide Prevention, with a goal to save 20,000 lives in the next five years. It's a, it's a group of leaders from public health, the government, and the private sector that have been working to actually create the national strategy for suicide prevention, which is now emanating out of the Surgeon General's office. If you have not taken a look at that document, it is now complete. It is an entire path for the future on how to address suicide and deal with it from everything from children through to the workplace, in the military, uh, and to give strategies to be able to see how the media can also help address this national problem. This story, when I read it, brought up so much emotion and feeling. That is the story and that headline of what I experienced in my personal life. Totally unnecessary to describe how the person died. Totally unnecessary. But covering suicide carefully, even briefly, can change the public misperception and correct the myths that are out there. So the sensationalism really needs to be thought about twice. You can avoid reporting death by suicide when it's preceded by a single event. You can consider quoting suicide prevention experts and not assuming you know what that is. Consider uh, using stories to inform your readers about warning signs in re recent treatment advances, and there are. There are warning signs for suicide. Promoting warning signs is a good thing. We don't see them very often. Journalism is power. You have the power to help change and elevate this conversation about mental health. You have the power to help change the conversation in a way that it is helpful to people, to the community, and to our culture, and our society. There's a lot of resources available. There's a veteran crisis line that needs to be promoted. The suicide prevention lifeline that needs to be promoted. Uh, we're available through the 1-800-273-TALK in partnership with the National Association of Broadcasters. Our Team Up resources, there's a first draft number that's tied to Team Up that if you're working on a story and you want 24 hours, we will help you find an expert and get you people that can help validate what you're trying to create. And every mind matters, and it does matter how we report.